Hey, let's test this Predator's drone. Elevator, check. Turn, check. Now let's make sure this plane does not fly away. Fail safe, check. This is the XK version of a Predator drone. Something really cool. It's the MQ-9 and if you take a look at the other side, that is the uh, how the plane is going to look like. Um, the model series is called the XK-A110 uh, version of the Predator drone and it's on a 3 channel radio. So it's not really big this box, so I'll give you a comparison, let me show you on the television. This is it, a small little box, not too big. So everything is nicely packed and compact. You can see the two pusher propellers instead of one to assist in the turns which is usually more efficient than a tractor propeller for an unmanned drone. You see the two servo plugs? They are to be connected before I glue the wings. The tail end prop is just a dummy. There is no motor attached to it. Here is everything you get out of the box. Push your props with no ailerons. This is the tail end. Push rods for the V tail. The servo connectors. Two additional spare propellers, landing gears, charger for the one cell battery, a three channel radio, a decorative hellfire missiles, or maybe it's the laser guided bombs, the V tail, and dummy rudder to be glued on, a nice set of stickers. And the user manual. The one cell battery is uh, 300 milliampere per hour. It is included and you can find it in the battery compartment. The decals or stickers looks like a temporary tattoo. You just cut along the black lines and then position it where you want it. Add some water and then it slides right off. Here it's a demo. Any leftover black border lines, you just remove it by just scrubbing it off before it dries out. So I've connected the servos as shown here. Next, I will glue the wings on while making sure the cables are tucked into that opening. There is a on-off switch which is convenient when you have the battery ready. But before you reach the fail, you can just turn off the switch. Uh, four AA batteries are required for the radio transmitter. This is a three channel radio. Uh, it is the best practice to test the electronics before you glue the wings. So I'm going to do a test here. 
There are no ailerons, so this turn test, you see the differential thrust generated from the propellers, uh, the pusher props, just like the multi rotors, it's just uh, pushing the wings uh, left and right uh, depending on uh, the thrust that's given out from each propeller. Uh, see that? Fail safe, it's not set up correctly. And uh, I believe this plane will fly away when you lose signal. Glue is not provided, so you're going to need some glue. I personally like to use the A and B mixed. The diagram on the manual has a few more steps that don't really match up, but I believe some pre-assembling has been done at the factory, so it makes it a lot faster and easier just to install the main wing. Keep the plane level when you are doing a test before you uh, assemble the push rods. Uh, in that way, they are calibrated correctly and you physically uh, adjust the uh, push rods uh, so that it is aligned correctly. That's it, uh, everything assembled, it's uh, not too difficult and uh, can wait to take it for a flight test so until the next video, I will see you again. Hey, it's me here. Subscribe to DrawMission.com. Bye, and I'll see you next time.